I watch these politicians. It's so sad. And they don't know how to stop companies from moving. Well, I know how. You just tell those companies, if you move, you're going to be taxed when you sell your product into the United States. And they're not going to move. And they don't want to talk about it because I love free trade. The problem is when you have free trade, you need smart dealers. You need smart negotiators. You need smart people running your country. We don't have that. We have just the exact opposite, okay? So I like free trade, but free trade is not free trade. It's dumb trade because we lose with China. We lose with Mexico. We lose with Japan and Vietnam and every single country that we deal with. We lose with Canada. Big lead. Tremendous, tremendous trade deficits with Canada. We lose with everybody. We lose. No more is right. No more. It's ended. It's ended. It is ended. You know, and I've been saying it, the American dream is dead, but I'm going to make it bigger and better and stronger than ever before. You watch. You watch. The New York Times wrote a terrible misrepresentative story, which they always do. They're totally, you know, it's a failing newspaper. It's probably not going to live for another year. But they, they write such negative things just so, and they know it's wrong. They know it's wrong. They don't call for comment. They don't call for anything. Because I said... When we defend somebody, when we defend a country, we have to be reimbursed. You know, we defend Japan. We defend, we defend everybody. We're like the world's policemen. By the way, speaking of policemen, how great are the police today? How great? How great? But they wrote a story and they leave things out. For instance, we defend Saudi Arabia. Who has more money than Saudi Arabia? They were making before the oil went down. They were making $1 billion a day, okay? A billion a day. And we defend them. And we pay rent on places that we lease for our military. We pay rent. We take care of everybody. We take care of Germany. We take care of South Korea. We take care of Japan. We take care of everybody. And we're not reimbursed on a fair basis. So I said, I said, whoop, do I hear some people over there? Oh, yeah. Oh. I hope so. Hey, camera, they're over there. Get the, get over there, camera. The only way the cameras move is there's a disruptor. Then they move. Then they move. There's, there is no rally like a Trump rally, and nobody gets the people. That I can tell you. But do you remember in the debate where he said, the only one that beats Donald Trump is Ted Cruz? Okay, except for one problem. One problem. What's the problem? He said, I've beaten him six times. I said, yeah, but I've beaten you 18 times. And he went like, oh. It was a weird moment, frankly. It was a weird moment. And you know what? It's gotten worse. It's worse. The omnibus budget is a disaster. It lets people come in from Syria. It funds it. It funds illegal immigration coming across the border. It funds Obamacare, which we're going to repeal and replace. Okay. But do you ever notice that? I said it the other day. First time I said, you know, Obama's a lousy negotiator for us, but he's a great negotiator against the Republicans. It's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. Is it true, though? Is it true? He gets everything. He gets everything he wants. I watched Boehner say, we will not shut down the country. Well, I don't want to shut down the country either. You know, in negotiation for the budget. This is just before he got out. Boehner was there. And he said, we will not... We will not shut down the country. Now, he may believe that, and I believe it. And certainly, I don't want to do it either. But why do you say that? Why do you talk about it? Now, once he said that, I said, now the Republicans can't make a good deal. Because he gave away all the cards. Once he said that, I don't want to shut down the country. For the press, I'm saying this. Because, you know, they'll say, Trump wants to shut down the country. You know, it was amazing. So I got to finish the story about the time. So the Times, which is totally dishonest, a totally, total piece of garbage, that, the Washington Post, these are, how about that stupid Boston Globe, it's worthless, sold for a dollar. Did you see that story? The whole front page, they, they made up a story that Trump, they pretended Trump is the president, and they made up, the whole front page is a make-believe story, which is really no different from the whole paper for the whole thing. I mean, the whole thing is made up. And I think they're having a big backlash on that one, you know. Here's a paper that the New York Times spent $1.3 billion to buy. 
They spend hundreds of millions of dollars on losses and operations. They recomputerize it. They spent a fortune. Let's assume they're in for 1.5 billion. They sold it for one dollar, one dollar, and then they do editorials telling me what I should be doing about Japan and about Saudi Arabia and about other countries that we defend. Okay, so they wrote a totally dishonest story, totally dishonest, and. They basically knew, but they don't put everything in. So we talked about, as an example, Japan or Saudi Arabia or any of them. And I said, no, no, no. We have to go to them. They have to pay their fair share. Now, I don't want them to defend themselves. And nobody is stronger and nuclear than I am. It's the biggest single problem that this world has. Not global warming. You know, Obama said the biggest problem we have is global warming. <laughs> and by the way, it's supposed to be 70 degrees today. It's freezing here. Speaking of global warming, where is we need some global warming? It's freezing, man. In fact, this is a record cold spell on the whole big section of the United States. It's not just Rochester; the whole big section is like record, record cold. And I keep hearing about global warming. Now they'll say he doesn't understand. This is a worldwide problem. Oh no, I don't understand. Let's do IQ tests. We can't continue to lose the kind of money that we're losing defending all these countries that, by the way, are making a fortune. Look at the cars that come pouring into this country from Los Angeles. You go the largest ships I've ever seen. They're loaded up with cars from Japan. They come pouring in, and in fact, Obama said the Japanese are very worried about the rhetoric of Trump. They should be worried, honestly. They got to pay. They got to pay. They got to pay. And we don't mean. I, I'll tell you what. I would bet that I will get along better with Japan than Obama does, and they rip us off. We will tr be tr we'll treat them very fairly. I want to treat them fairly. I'm going to treat everybody fairly. Look at China, five hundred and five billion dollar yearly trade deficit, and they go and build a massive military complex in the middle of the South China Sea, which they're not allowed to do. And we don't do anything about it. We have so much power over these countries because of our. Are the power of trade, and we don't know it. We have leaders that don't realize that we have power, and we're going to bring jobs back into this country like you've never, ever, ever seen before. We're going to have a great, great economy again. We're going to have a great, great country again, and you're going to be so proud of your president. But I don't care about that. You're going to be so proud of this country, the American dream. Remember this, and I've been saying it. The American dream is dead, but I'm going to make it bigger and better and stronger than ever before. We are going to make America great again. Thank you, Rochester. Thank you. We love you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, in this big dump of data coming out of Panama, that tax avoidance is a big global problem. It's not unique to other countries. Because, frankly, there are folks here in America who are taking advantage of the same stuff.